In this video, I am going to talk about my new computer, which I have built for myself, especially for video editing, graphics design, and programming works. Although I don't play games, but if you want, I can play games. So uh, today I am going to show my PC components, which I have used to build my PC. So let's get started. Welcome back. At first, I would like to say to you, it's a budget PC. That's why I had to choose everything under my budget. And I had to assemble my PC at the shop for checking purposes. Anyway, I have chosen the Intel i5 12th gen processor which has 6 core 12 thread and it has integrated graphics USD 770. With this processor, I took Gigabyte B660M DS3S Wi-Fi motherboard. But if you want, you can take another brand or model such as Asus or MSI. By the way, I have bought Corsia 16GB DDR4 RAM which is enough for me but in future I will add another 16GB. I tried to buy a Corsia or Thermaltake 80 plus bronze certified power supply but unfortunately I did not find it. As a result, I had to buy an Antec brand 650 watt 80 plus certified power supply. For SSD, I have chosen SPX900 NVMe SSD only for operating systems and 1TB SDD for media files. Right now, this is enough for me. And if you want, you can take Samsung 980 Pro SSD which is better than SP. <laughs> For casing, I have selected the Valutop VT701 model white case which is very good for carrying and looking is so beautiful. And this case has two colors, uh, white and black. I have chosen white because white is my favorite color. By the way, this case has three inbuilt RGB fans. Although you can't control this RGB light but if I consider the price, I think it's not a big issue. As a mouse and a keyboard, I have selected Habit Programming Gaming Mouse and Walton Gaming Keyboard. Both have RGB light and you can control RGB lighting effects which is very good features at a low price. I know right now you are thinking where is my graphics card. These days GPU price is so high that's why right now I am not able to buy it but within a few months I will try to buy a graphics card for myself. However, for a monitor I bought LG 22 inch monitor which has an IPS display with 75Hz refresh rate. The model number is 22MK430 which is very popular for productivity work at a low price but if you increase your budget then uh, I recommend you uh, you should buy borderless variant which is very good or which is very stylish in my point of view. Unfortunately this monitor has no inbuilt speaker this is why I had to buy this Havid brand speaker. This sound quality is enough for me. Alright, this is my full PC setup. Now let's talk about the performance of this PC. Without a graphics card, already I have installed Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects and I would say now performance is okay for my work. Although I did not play games because I have no interest in games. But if you want, you can play games without a graphics card with this configuration. Because this processor has a USD 770i GPU. 
Definitely for getting a better performance for both gaming and editing, I have to add a graphics card today or tomorrow. In future, if I add a graphics card with a good quality, with a good liquid cooler and another 16 GB RAM, then performance will be more increased. Anyway, after using a month in my next video, I will try to make another video about my PC performance in details. So right now if you have any question about my PC so you can ask me and I will try to reply your questions or if you want to know more details about my PC components or if you want to buy these components from Amazon or uh, online website so you can uh, you can check my video description box I will provide you some link so you will see the link and uh, by the way uh, if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe my channel for getting new videos thank you